The Earth's surface is composed of a granular fluid interface. And this is the interface that we live on. If you think about it, rivers, coastlines, deltas, mountain ranges, these are all features of the landscape that we're very familiar with, but are actually created as water or wind moves over the surface and picks up particles, rocks, sand, silt, and transports them. This is the topic of study in our laboratory, and this is a discipline called geomorphology. Connecting the mechanics of particle scale motion to emergent landscape patterns is a major thrust of our research group. Laboratory experiments allow us to create simplified analog systems that we can probe and study and compare to the natural environment. So one example of something we like to do is to be able to predict the rates of sediment transport in a natural river and we need to do that by looking at how individual grains respond to an applied force from a fluid. In this example here, we have a very small scale river, which is a racetrack flume. In it, a rotating lid drives a viscous fluid or an oil, and then the motion of that oil picks up the particles beneath and moves them. Using a neat optical trick called refractive index matching, we can actually see inside the granular bed which allows us to not only look at the motion of particles on the surface of this scaled down riverbed, but to look at the motion of the underlying particles as well. Another problem that we can study in the laboratory is how a river channel itself forms. If you think about it, a river channel and its geometry controls the flow of water and sediment within it. However, over a long time, that flow of water and sediment actually shapes the channel, so the flow creates its own container. In the laboratory, we run a stream of water over a bed of plastic sand, which is used to simulate gravel in a natural river. By changing the amount of water flowing through the system, we observe how the geometry of the river channel changes. We compare the observed relationships from the laboratory to the field and find good agreement. Using our other work on the grain scale mechanics of sediment transport that I talked about, we're working to reveal the underlying theory that governs the size and shape of rivers. The work conducted in our laboratory is done by postdocs, graduate students, and undergraduate students drawing from the range of disciplinary backgrounds that we use for this kind of work, geology, physics, and engineering. We're applying concepts from this laboratory research to looking at restoration of the Mississippi Delta and other field projects in White Sands, New Mexico, and in Puerto Rico. If you're interested in learning more about our research, either as a graduate student or a media contact or a potential collaborator, feel free to contact me.